everybody. Welcome, welcome to the live event. And guess what? Today is my birthday. Let's go. Uh, uh. Come on in, gather around. Let me just drop a little quick session of knowledge. Welcome to the show. Once again, if you just tuning in, today is my birthday. Give me some happy birthday love in the comments section. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let go. Y'all ready to level up? Put the LUs in the chat right now. Let's go. Let go. How y'all feeling today? I hear that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I just want to come here and just drop some knowledge because, you know, I want to make it quick. Today's my birthday. I got a birthday. Then I got to head to right after this. So really hop in the car and fly over there to the restaurant. And you know, your boy kind of hungry, right? So welcome to do you need a certification to land a job? This is a question that we get all the time. And we want to make sure that we give you the information that's necessary to help you move forward and help you be successful even in your own terms. All right. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Broadus Palmer. I'm founder and CEO of Level Up in Tech, which we help current and future techies level up their tech career by learning and gaining experience in solving problems in cloud engineering. All right. So now I want to just take this time to give you the value and really come at this from another angle, right? So when people like you, like me, want to get into tech or want to transition our career, want to you know, elevate our career, want to get into another role, we can't really think about it from a perspective of like trying to be an employee, right? We have to think about it from being a business, all right? So in order to understand how to move as a business, you have to understand how businesses work. You have to understand like the companies that you want to work for. You got to research and understand the partners that they have, the projects that they're working on, the overall mission of the company and what they're trying to accomplish. All right. So we're going to talk about three things very quickly. Right. We're going to talk about why are cloud certifications necessary for companies. We're going to talk about why would you not need a cloud search or when would you not need a cloud search excuse me and then we're going to talk about how can you level up with or without a cloud search all right so question number one right why are cloud certifications important and or necessary for companies well if you're getting certifications and i know a lot of you are because that's what you've been told to do right if you're trying to learn some type of cloud service provider aws azure gcp you're going to try to get all of them, right? And especially with AWS, most of you start with cloud practitioner, then you go to solutions architect, then you think you got to get all the associates, then you think you got to go ahead and get the pros. If I'm right, put the LUs in the comment because I know we all get this information of just get your cloud certifications. But no one answers the question of why are they necessary for companies? And most people will tell you is because they can show you that you have a, uh, a basic understanding of that cloud service provider, which in turn, they it does, right? It does show that you put in the work to learn the basics of that provider. But however, in the back end of it, we need to understand why companies really want you to be certified. All right, so number one, let's talk about this. They have a company partnership, right? So let's say this company has a partnership with AWS and they want to grow that partnership or they have a, a partnership that's top tier what they call premier partnership with these partnerships they have to maintain a certain number 
of certified folks in order to enjoy the benefits of that partnership. All right. So when you get a certification and you go and interview for a job and they are happy that you have a certification, it's most of the time because you add to the bucket of certs that they already have that they can prove to that cloud service provider that they have this number of people that are certified and they are able to maintain that type of tier in that partnership, okay? Number two, discounts that they're getting by using that vendor services. So once again, this plays into maintaining a certain level of certified individuals on your team to be able to use those services or get your services placed in the marketplace so you can generate more money. What you have to ask yourself is like, we have to follow the cash. We got to follow what's making companies more money. As a business, we have to think that way. So if I'm a company and I get to use AWS services at a discount, and not only AWS will let me use their services at a discount, I would get to put my company in the marketplace as a service that is being offered to everyone just because I have certified folks on my team, all right? So number three is it shows the clients, if they're a client-facing company, it shows the clients that they have certified folks on their team working on their projects. Now, if you're, if you're a person who hired a company to do a service or to build something, whatever the case may be, nothing puts you at ease more than that person or that company that you hired has certified people working on a project that you need them to work on, right? So when they say, yeah, we got folks that are certified in this, that are working on your project right now, as a company or as a person who's hired that company, you are be like, great, ah, man, that, that puts me at ease. Once in turn, we're gonna follow the money because that creates an opportunity for the companies that you're working for to get more money, make more money, keep a long time value, a lifetime value of a customer because they have certified folks working on their projects. Now that is why cloud certifications are really necessary for companies because they're trying to keep their uh, company partnership with their cloud service provider. Excuse me. And you may see my, hear my teams going off, so I, I apologize. They're gonna get discounts on using that vendor service and they're gonna show the clients that they have certified folks working on their projects. So I know some of you may have gotten a job just because you got certified. And when you got in that role, you quickly seen that, oh, wow, this is why I got certified because, you know, we're working on projects and our company is a certified partner with that cloud service provider. And we're going to talk about um, how they incentivize you as well to get those uh, particular uh, certifications. All right. So now, when would you not need a cloud cert? So you're going to, in some cases, you may not need a certification to get into a role. Now, you have some companies that are looking to hire juniors and they don't really care what level you're on. They don't care where you're starting. They just want somebody with passion, persistency and self-sufficiency to be able to do the job. Right. So they're going to incentivize you to get certified once you get hired, because once again, if they're if they're a cloud service partner, then they're going to incentivize you. Some companies incentivize one to five thousand dollars while you're on the job to get certified. Or if you're an individual with consulting experience and you can be, you can be able to hit the ground running. Right. They're going to hire you quickly because you already have that experience. They want somebody to hit the ground running on certain projects. And if that particular client doesn't care about if that, if you are certified or if that company has certified individuals working on a project, then they're going to hire you quickly to hit the ground running because you already know what you're doing. Now, you can show now in one case, you can be able to get a job without a cert is you can show your experience through your work history or projects that are aligned with the services that the organization uses, all right? So this means if you're working at a company and you can talk about your experience that aligns exactly what they need you to do, 
or if you're a person that's looking to get your foot in the door, and if you can talk about your projects that you've done that aligns with the exact services that that organization use, and you can show that you can solve problems, they may hire you on the spot. Now, I know in our program, we've had some individuals that have been hired within five weeks of joining our program with no certification. The company said, hey, we want to take them on. We want to help them learn. We love the passion. We love what they're doing. We're going to incentivize them to get certified here. We want to put them on projects without any certifications at all. Took them, ran with them, and they're doing great right now. And you could do that as well. Now, once again, you can put yourself in a position to get incentivized for getting certified in cloud or any other tech vendor that org uses. So if you get hired without any certifications, then get your certifications on their dime and they're going to pay you for it. So if you start off, you got a job making 100K and they're incentivizing you 5K each certification that you get, let's say each professional certification you get, it's only going to benefit you because self-development is key through this whole thing, right? You want to be able to continue to learn your job Continue to understand that cloud service provider. And you can, if you get four certifications throughout that year, that's an extra $20,000 you just gave yourself. So now you took yourself from 100K to 20, 120K just by getting the certifications that you needed on the job. All right. So, hey, I want to make sure I'm giving y'all value quickly because, you know, I'm trying to make this super quick and fun and valuable because I got to go for my birthday. Put the LUs in the chat. If this is valuable for you right now, I want to see that. All right. So last thing, how can I level up with or without a cert? All right. So this is this is very important because you still got to think like a business. You got to understand. Right. If you're a business and you want people to understand how you can help them solve problems with your products, with your services, what's the number one thing that you need to do? Market yourself. Right. You need to market yourself. Showcase your workload. This is not just for people with no experience, but if you're able to talk about a project without giving intimate details of your work project that you're doing at your current organization, you can showcase your abilities within these projects and you could create a story of how you help your clients or the organization solve problems. Storytelling is the magic marketing tool on LinkedIn. Share your story. Your story is your story. Don't worry about if your story doesn't sound fancy enough for some people, right? Because it's going to be somebody who's going to be interested in your story and want to know more. Showcase your workload. If you don't have any experience, what are you doing now to gain experience? I want to see that. And I don't want to see the regular one, two, three, four, five of it. I want to see what happened between one and two and two and three and three and four and th four and five. Show me the things that people are scared to show. Show me the failures. Show me the things that you did to try to solve that problem. Even if you couldn't solve it, show me what you've done and the roadblock that you came to that really stopped you from doing this project and then ask for help. That's one of the things we need to do on LinkedIn is ask for help. That way you get more people involved in your projects and those people can be very important to help you land a road. Okay. Now, focus on building the hands-on skills. That's number two. The issue we're seeing now is people are pumping out projects with no understanding of the services they just use, not even a little bit. So you got people that are going to Medium, go on wherever and GitHub and pull these projects, read the instructions, do it and say, I did this project. And then when they get in the interview, they can't even talk about what they've done or what problem they solved. That is a red flag. You need to focus on building your hands on skills and focus on understanding as a business. What problem are you solving? You are not going to be able to, you know, if you let's say somebody had a carpentry business, you're not going to go in someone's house and build a bathroom and be doing all this intimate stuff with water and plumbing and not know why you're doing it. If somebody asks you, why, why did you just do that? I don't know. Well, why are we hiring you for the job? You need to go. You're going to put yourself in a bad position if you're doing things, building your hands on skills that you don't know why it's happening. You don't know what use case this will be for. At least understand the use case of Kubernetes if you're going to use Kubernetes. At least understand the use case of Terraform if you're going to use Terraform. Understand why companies are using it. So that way, when you talk about it in the project, you can align it to the company you're talking to and say, I know you use Terraform to do this. 
this is a project that I just did that showcased my ability to solve those problems, okay? Now, this is very important. I want you guys to understand and ladies to understand. Understand who you need to be and understand who you need in order to be successful. Now, let's face it. We all need coaching. So you need to take the time to strategize and plan your steps for success and take time to analyze those steps and make sure you're reaching out for help for your goals, right? A lot of people don't take the time to do this. They always want to do it themselves, which you can if you got enough uh, discipline, persistency, and consistency in your life. You can do this yourself. But at some point in your career, maybe before you even cross that threshold of getting a job, you're going to need mentorship for somebody. You're going to need coaching from somebody who's done it and, and been there because what's going to happen, anxiety is going to take over you and you're just going to be flustered. You're not going to know what to do. So understand who you need to be and understand who you need in order to be successful in this industry, whether it's through a program, mentorship, it won't work at all until you become who you need to become to reach the goals. And believe it or not, that mentally starts before you start the journey. You can't get into this and put your foot forward and think you're going to work and don't believe that you need to become a cloud engineer already. If you're working to become a cloud engineer now, you need to start acting as if one, as you are one. You don't need to be, oh, let me do this 30 minutes today because I got things to do. Tomorrow I may do a 10 minutes or I may not do it at all. But, you know, I want to get my foot in the door in the next three months. Let's be realistic. Be who you need to be in order to get where you need to go. OK, so I hope this was seriously valuable because every week in our Facebook community, every week in our Facebook community, right, I'm going to put the Facebook link um, I'm going to put it in another post. I want y'all to join our Facebook community. We're going to do this every single week. Every single week, we got a 15-minute live Q&A by either myself or my team out of Level Up in Tech. We want to drop the value on you. We want to give you the value you need to be successful. So make sure you join our Facebook community. We're going to put it in the live event channel that you just joined just now. Actually, let me do this right now. Let me do this right now. Make sure you grab this link and you join our Facebook community right now, okay? So the next, the next um, topic we're going to talk about will be next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be Networking 101. How do you start? How do you start building those relationships to take yourself to the next level, to blast through that stratosphere that you've been wanting to blast through, okay? So once again, put the LUs in the chat if this is valuable. I want to make sure we drop some supreme nuggets on your head tonight. It's my birthday. Guess what? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to turn up right now. We're going to go get some dinner. Y'all keep leveling up in tech. My name is Broadus. I'm out.